okay so welcome back and now in this video we will show the notes or the post right here on the home screen so our adding the data is now completed now we will do showing the data so for that uh, open up the home.dart file which is inside this lib and then this then this screens folder and if you remember we comment this child in the previous video so remove the comment from there and right here we will call a class now but before calling the class we need to create some few files so right here we will open up a new dart file and we will name this as item underscore list then we will create a new file and we will name this as edit underscore screen okay on this page we will edit our note or post and then we will create another dart file and we will name this as edit underscore item underscore forum on this page we will show the edit form so when a user click on the note right here then we will show the edit form okay so now on the item list or dart file right here we will create a stateless widget by the name of item list and at the top we will import the material dot dart library and now if we go back right here we will call that function which is item list and make sure to import this at the top as well item list dart now open up this item list dart file right here we will remove this const and then here we will return a stream builder and right here we will type query snapshot and make sure to import the cloud file store dot dart at the top okay so after this right here we will say stream then we will call that database class from the database dot dart file so make sure to import this at the top okay so database and we will call the function which is read items let me show it to you if we scroll down as you can see right here this is our read items function after this right here inside this brackets we will type context and then snapshot outside this right here we will say if the snapshot dot has error then what we will do we will say return text and inside this text we will say something went wrong and at the end we will add a semicolon then right here or right down below this we will say else if right here we will check else if the snapshot dot has data so if it has data and also the snapshot data uh, snapshot data is not equals to null then we will simply show the user the title and the description so for that we will add curly braces and inside this curly braces we will type return list view and inside this list view what we will do is first right here we will type dot separated then right here we will type uh, separated builder then we will say context index it will be equals to the size box of height 16 then the item count will be snapshot dot data dot dogs dot length and after this we will say item builder and right here we will say context 
then index and inside this curly braces we will say variable not info will be equals to snapshot dot data dot docs index dot data is map string and dynamic and after this we will create a variable string and it name will be doc id and the doc id will be equals to snapshot dot dot data dot doc index id so it will be equals to the id stored in the database uh, let me show you okay this id this user id so this will be equal to that then the string title will be equals to the title and the description will be equals to the description and now we will show this title and description so for that right here let me create some space first okay so right here we will return a ink widget and inside here we will say decoration then box decoration and inside this box decoration the color will be colors dot blue gray and the border radius will be border radius dot circular 8.0 after this decoration we will say child then we will create a list tile and inside this list tile the shape will be rounded rectangular border the border radius will be border radius dot circular and its value will be 8.0 and now uh, we need to add a on tab as well so when someone click on the note right here on the home screen then we will redirect the user to the edit screen okay so from there the user can edit their notes but for now we will leave this as empty and after this on tab right here we will add a title and it will be text and in here we will show the user the title so we will type title okay this title and after the title we will show the description so for that we will type text style then text and in here we will show the description its max line will be one and overflow will be text overflow dot ellipses and now we are this else if condition ends as you can see right here so right down below this else if condition we will type return then we will open up our center widget and inside this center widget what we will do we will create a circular progress bar so we will say child then circular progress bar and the color will be equals to colors dot orange accent let me remove this and now this will show us the notes on our home screen so let me just now refresh the application and now if we enter our unique id click login and as you can see right here it shows the title and then the title description and as you can see it is clickable so now when the user click on this node then we will redirect the user to the edit, edit screen and then uh, there the user can edit this node and now let us just quickly add another node its title will be football game and then the description will be football match on monday and now if we click on this add data and as you can see it shows us this which is football game and then football match on monday and now if we refresh our database 
then there you will see that we have now two nodes so if you click on items as you can see there are now two IDs and if we click on this as you can see this is for the football and this is for the sleep time so now we are adding the data and we are showing the data and in the upcoming videos we will work on updating the data and deleting the data